anybody here think that um, Joe Biden, after seeing that first debate, that Joe Biden should drop out of the race? I hoped that both candidates would drop out of the race. Yeah. Both. I didn't, I didn't like either one of them. I didn't think they represented the United States well. And that's to Joy's point. <laughs> Being in a different country, I, I traveled outside the country a while ago to visit Joy, and I get it. People are looking at the United States like, what are you all doing? What are you all collectively smoking? Right. <laughs> it's embarrassing. So I wanted them both to drop out. Same here. Absolutely. Wish they would both drop out. I'm a bit worried about Biden's ability to be able to run a country. Um, I don't know if he'll be able to do it if he is elected for the next four years. And I do think he does have other options within the party who could step up and carry out similar things that he wants to be carried out. It just doesn't, I don't think it should be him. Trump is only a few years younger than Biden. Do you worry about his ability oh my to run the country? God. Not just age, but like mentally. Okay. I'm, that man is- Cognitively. Yeah. That man is unhinged. Absolutely, yeah, no. Yeah. I, don't, I don't trust Trump at all. For me, my visceral emotional reaction after the 90 minutes was, wow, we need to find another path forward. The practicality of having who would that next person be, getting them on the ballot, raising the money or getting access to the money that has been raised, it feels impractical to change course. And I, I think at this point, strategically, to rally around our guy who was elected um, through the process, and he's got the best shot at beating the alternative. All right, guys, so we gotta talk about this very unfortunate reality that I have been alluding to since Biden's disastrous debate performance, which is that everybody right now is talking about what we actually should be talking about, which is the fact that Biden does not seem to be mentally equipped enough to be president of the United States, okay? And a lot of people are coming out and saying, listen, I can't vote for this guy, okay? Because I don't even know if he's running the country. It is likely that he is not. However, there is one small group of people that are not focused on the most important conversation that we should be having in 2024 going into this election, uh, which is about Joe Biden, right? The current guy in office, okay? Uh, no, no, no. Unfortunately, they are more concerned about Trump and Orange Man, okay? And for the life of me, I can't figure out why is it that black liberals are obsessed, obsessed with voting for Democrats no matter what? including Joe Biden, okay? As you guys saw at the beginning of this video, these black women who are supposed to be swing state voters, aka they're, they're just black liberal women, okay? Um, they say, well, we know that Biden is cognitively impaired, but we think Trump is too, even though, <laughs> again, there's just not much evidence that Trump is cognitively impaired. I mean, not like Joe Biden, okay? Um, and also, top of that, the country was in a much better place under Trump, but yet, again, these people are still trying to rationalize something that I don't think you can rationalize, right? I don't think it's possible to rationalize voting for Biden over Trump at this point, okay? But again, that's assuming that you're actually paying attention and that you're not brainwashed, okay? But when you're brainwashed into thinking that you must vote blue no matter who, no matter what, even if you know it's bad, even if you know they lied to you, even if you know that Biden's an empty suit, he's not running the country, even if Democrats break all their promises, don't matter. I'm still going to vote for Biden because orange man, terrible, Although, again, black people were doing very well under Trump, okay? Very well under Trump. Uh, and that leads me to this video right here, which is a prime example of what I'm talking about, featuring Van Lathan, who is a producer at TMZ. This guy is going to explain why he's still voting for Democrats, despite knowing that the Democrat Party is gaslighting him, lying to him, and that, you know, Biden's not mentally fit. He's still going to vote for them. Again, it reminds me of Charlemagne the Devil and his rationale behind still supporting uh joe biden again it's extremely sad right to hear this but a lot of these people i, I really do think are brainwashed because if you actually listen to them talk they make zero sense <laughs> whatsoever and this video is exactly what i'm talking about so without further ado let's get into it to my democratic friends the big democrats i know some of them first off let me say something i'll be voting for joe biden i believe that politicians are collections of ideas policies the execution of those things. So who you are, to me, doesn't matter as much as the freedoms and the opportunities that you represent. I've heard a lot of people speaking to people in ways that don't address the old ass elephant that's in the room. You essentially are looking at your electorate after that debate performance and saying, suck it up and fucking fall in line. We got work to do. 
I don't think that that's appropriate. I think that that's fucking disrespectful. And it's particularly disrespectful for the Democrats to do it because this entire election cycle, the Democrats have been scaring the shit out of us. They've told us that there is this big fucking orange dragon that is breathing fire at us. This fire is going to burn up democracy. It's going to burn up our voting rights, Bali autonomy. The very fabric of the country is under a fire-breathing attack from this gigantic, huge harbinger dragon. And who do they trot out to fight this dragon? Orville Redenbacher. <laughs> Literally, gigantic dragon gonna burn up the whole country and they send out a Walmart greeter to fight the fucking dragon. And we're not supposed to have any concerns. Sure. Well, see, here's the problem. Here's the problem. You're confused because you're brainwashed. If you weren't brainwashed, then you wouldn't be confused, okay? Because Trump is not an existential threat. Democrats don't even believe that Trump is an existential threat. They're just lying, okay? They're trying to gaslight you, lie to you about Trump and what he's going to do in order to get your vote, okay? Because we already had a full four years under Trump and all these things that Democrats claimed that Trump was going to do uh, didn't happen, okay? The world didn't end. Okay, black people weren't put back in chains. You know, Biden promised that Mitt Romney was going to put black people back in chains. Okay, Trump didn't do that. Okay, that didn't happen. Again, in fact, black America was doing pretty good. Okay, this country was doing pretty good. Everybody was doing pretty good under Trump. But again, the problem with this guy, and the reason why he's not understanding is because he bought into the false premise that, again, Trump is some type of existential threat. And it's just simply... Not true. Even Democrats really don't believe that. They just say that as a way to get your vote. It's fear mongering. You are Trump deranged. That's what's happening, right? You have Trump derangement. That that's what's happening here. Sure. So my thing to Democrats is this: instead of scolding, belittling us, and calling us out, come to terms with the reality. And the reality is that the Democratic establishment brought someone to this dance who might break his fucking hip. And if that's who we got to vote for, fine. If that's the only way to preserve bodily autonomy, to preserve voting rights, to preserve democracy, fine. But get this motherfucker ready and get off our backs about it because the establishment chose this candidate in 2020 and they chose him again in 2024. They had opportunities to open this up to a primary for different voices or to rotate somebody else in and they said no. Yo, listen to this, bro. <laughs> listen to this. This guy just said, I know that you're disrespecting us. <laughs> you're insulting our intelligence. You're lying to us. You're gaslighting us. But yet, I want to preserve voting rights, <laughs> which, you know, again, nobody's voting rights are under attack, right? So again, just... A, a false purpose there, okay? But again, this is why this guy says, hey, I got to vote Democrat. Okay, preserve bodily autonomy. Again, I'm not entirely sure what that means either, right? What does that mean? And then he said to preserve democracy, which it was the most hilarious, the most hilarious, <laughs> the most hilarious reason. Because this dude in the next couple sentences just admitted that there is no democracy in the Democrat Party. He said that the establishment put up Joe Biden. OK, basically implying that the voters didn't have a choice, which, you know, hey, hey, I made this argument. Democrats do rig their own primaries, but, you know, voters did have a choice. They, they just tricked you guys in regards to how to vote by forcing Pete Buttigieg and Amy Klobuchar, basically all the people that were taking away votes from uh, Biden, uh, forced them to drop out before Super Tuesday in order for uh, Joe Biden to get all their votes and to beat Bernie Sanders. Right. That's how they kind of rigged it. OK, but. People still line up and voted for Joe Biden, okay? You guys voted for this, okay? This is who you voted for. So don't try to walk away from it. Yes, Democrats rigged their own primaries, but you still voted for Joe Biden. Now, again, in 2024, yeah, Democrats went out of their way to make sure, to make sure that you didn't get a real option or a real primary to be able to get Joe Biden out of office, right? To have a stronger Democrat Party nominee. So, yeah, he is right about that. So, Again, tell me how voting for Democrats is a vote for preserving democracy when you just admitted that Democrats are against democracy within their own party. Again, this is what I'm talking about, guys. This is what I'm talking about. The core beliefs, 
right? The core reasons why this guy says, I'm going to vote for De uh, Joe Biden and Democrats no matter what, even though I know they're lying to us, even though I know they're disrespecting me, even though I know they rigged on elections. Oh, well, it's because of democracy. It makes absolutely no sense. No sense. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I really don't. How can you come up here and talk about I'm voting for Joe Biden and Democrats to preserve democracy and then in the next sentence talk about how Democrats don't really believe in democracy. There's not a democracy in the Democrat Party. I'm just stunned. I'm mind blown. I don't even know what else to say. You can't reason with people like this. You can't. <laughs> but unfortunately, these are the people that are voting, right? Guys like this, in my opinion, again, you know, <laughs> I'm just saying, I, I just got questions about whether or not democracy is good for these types of people because they clearly don't understand what a democracy actually is, right, and what it means. What they have internalized is that it just means Democrat power and control, right? They, they have internalized the Democrat Party's definition of democracy. And again, the sad part about it is I don't think this guy realized it. He does not realize that what he said made absolutely no sense because, again, that's how brainwashed some of these people are. And the mainstream of media, they've done a good job of helping the Democrats with this type of propaganda. This is your brain on propaganda, guys. Not one critical thought came out of this dude's mouth. He did not think about what he said. Because if he thought about what he said, he would not have posted this clip on social media. He would not have said this. This makes zero sense whatsoever. Maybe they did it because they believe that Joe Biden is the only guy who could possibly beat Donald Trump. I don't know enough about it to know whether or not that's true or not. Mm -hmm. But what I do know is I'm not going to act like I don't have eyes and ears sure. for the Democratic Party. I don't work for them. <laughs> they fucking work for me. No, they don't. don't mess they don't work for you, buddy. Why do they have to work for you when you quite literally just said, I'm going to vote for Democrats and Joe Biden no matter what? This is what you're saying. It doesn't matter what they do. They can lie to me. They can gaslight me. They can break their promises. They can rig their own elections, but I'm still going to vote for Democrats for democracy, right? Because I want to preserve democracy. <laughs> yeah, it is a sad state of affairs. We have people like this who have a major platform <laughs> spewing this type of nonsense, saying things that just fundamentally make zero sense whatsoever. I mean, it's just so contradictory. I, I really don't understand why this man posted this clip and thought that he said something profile, right? No, my guy. If I was you, I would delete this, right? Delete this clip. You make absolutely no sense. You're not a serious person. Democrats have zero reason to listen to you because you already told them that no matter what they do, you're going to vote for them no matter what because they successfully brainwashed you into thinking that orange man bad. He's so bad that it doesn't matter what Democrats do. Orange man will always be worse. And I don't know who Van Lathan knows in the Democrat Party. But I guarantee you the elites of the Democrat Party are behind closed doors laughing at individuals like this guy. And they're laughing at him because they know that, okay, well, we really don't have to do much for these people. We don't have to actually keep our promises. Uh, we don't actually have to, you know, do good things for the country or anything like that. We will always maintain power and control because we have successfully convinced these people to vote for us no matter what, right? And Again, it's just really, really, really sad. And I really believe that the psychology of these types of individuals should be studied because it really is fascinating to watch these individuals uh, try to ration their way through voting for Democrats while at the same time giving us reasons or talking about how Democrats have done them so wrong for the same reasons that they're claiming that they're voting for Democrats. It just makes absolutely no sense. And if I was this guy, I would delete this clip. You don't want this floating around, bro. This is not what you thought that it was, okay? This is not what you thought that it was. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.